Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Johnson Creek Via rechargeable electronic cigarette, so stay tuned. I didn't wake up one day and decide, you know what, I'm going to get a big old electronic cigarette starter kit. There was a natural progression that sort of led me to this kit and I'd like to go over it real quick so maybe I could uh, save you some time and money and make a little bit more of an informed choice so I basically smoke or used to smoke regular cigarettes occasionally when I got stressed or when I was hungry and, and, and all the normal reasons I never really got addicted to nicotine I could stop for months and then I would start again but it's still not good even though I didn't smoke a lot so one day I was ready to pick up another pack of cigarettes and I noticed some electronic disposable cigarettes in the same section now I went ahead and decided to try one and then try another disposable and try another one and some of them tasted absolutely nasty some of them tasted better and one of them really hit the spot when it comes to flavor for me remember um e-juice and flavors and all that stuff is very subjective it's very it's a very personal thing but for me the best tasting disposable cigarette out there was blue now just stay with me because um, there is a link between this and Johnson Creek who makes the Veya. So I like this but I didn't like the idea that I would smoke this thing and then throw away the whole thing including the batteries um, and then have to buy a whole nother cigarette every time. So I found out that Blue sells these starter kits that have rechargeable batteries so I went ahead and bought a starter kit I think they were around $35 where it has a, a plastic case that has a battery in it that you can charge up and then the case while you're on the go can charge these little batteries and the reason why you have this whole setup is because this little battery does not last very long at all I um, when I really started enjoying this and really smoking them um, I would go through having to charge these little batteries about three times a day however they still tasted pretty good and it's because of that e-juice that's in this cartomizer right here well I found out that Johnson Creek makes the e-juice for blue now you can't go to Johnson Creek and buy the same exact liquid because you know they sold it to blue that special formula and they're not allowed to resell that same one because they would be stealing their own business you know business stuff so anyway I went ahead and decided you know what I want to try some of the Johnson Creek liquids so I went ahead and got this kit and this is their um, rechargeable electronic cigarette starter kit so let's go ahead and open this up do a quick review and try it out before we open this up I'd just like to say that I paid sixty dollars for this now let's see what we get for our money first of all we get this very nice tin slash carrying case I think it's very good because there are some cases out there where stuff rattles around um, everything stays put in this case I really like the way it's been designed from the outside and inside or inside out outside in whatever you want to call it so first thing that you see is a nice warranty card and it warranties the batteries for six months so you should probably expect a six month life on this on the battery with uh, you know it all depends on how you use it how much you know each any rechargeable battery has a limited amount of times that it can charge and discharge so and you never know exactly it all depends on environmentals and the way that you utilize the battery now you also get a, an excellent i mean a really really good instruction or user guide maybe the best in the business now on this side here we have some blank atomizers now you get to pick 
what atomizers you want. You can choose either their version 2 or version 3 or uh, Rev 2 Rev 3. The I think these are the Rev 3s and these are 2 ohm um, 5 blank cartridges. They sort of uh, they're actually um, technically cartomizers here as a cartomizer. Or you could get the older Rev 2s which are 1.8 ohms and I'm going to go ahead and just set this aside. The uh, Rev 2s come in a smaller box, it sort of looks like that. But you could choose which ones you want. Now on this side, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Because this is the, one of the things that really just impressed me more than um, any other kit out there. And that's this charger. This is a really, really nice charger. And you can see that um, you can pull this out just like that or all the way which I really like also this is a one amp charger I know that a lot of other companies will put uh, lower amp chargers in it so like I said as far as the amount of amps this thing has and the flexibility and build quality it, it's a very impressive charger there's your USB I'm very impressed and then of course um, they give you Look, look at that. They even got the little cutout for your finger. I mean, they thought of everything. You also have a cable. Now, this is a mini to regular USB. And I'll show you where that mini goes. You already know where the USB goes, right into the charger there. And that plugs into the wall socket. So, let's go ahead and, well, let, let's look at the e-cigarette so here it is and the one thing that immediately sort of jumps out at you is how slick and smooth this is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, autofocus off real quick uh, I don't want this thing just jumping around okay again <laughs> you'll notice how smooth how smooth this is compared to other batteries for example I um let's see I got another battery here this is a an Eagle ego style battery and you can see how it steps down let's see you can see how it steps down there it's it's not a nice flat transition this is really done very nice it's just very flat all the way to a removable cone and if you notice it doesn't screw on like most other cones on on egos this one just sort of has this um kind of plastic material there there's a term for it that i don't remember but you just sort of push it on there and it, it stays on there good see it's not going to come off now on the end here you have a cap that actually lights up and i'll show you that here shortly but you could go ahead and unscrew that and you have a mini usb right there now with that mini USB you take your cable and you would just plug it in right here just like that and then you go ahead and plug this into your charger and your charger into the wall and you'll see a red light back here inside here and when that red light goes out you're all charged up shouldn't take more than two hours to charge up now one of the nice things about this battery is that it's a pass-through type battery which means that even though let's say it, it runs out you're done smoking you could plug this in and while it's charging you could also use it in this configuration right here really convenient really nice I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on by the way, this is a 650 milliamp hour battery. Now you can see that this setup utilizes cartomizers. You can either put the cartomizer on and put the cone on after, or you can leave the cone on and screw the cartomizer in there. And this is, um, you, you can just refill this easily you can see there's a lot of videos on how to fill cartomizers but you just sort of pluck this rubber piece out and you put your juice in there and put it back on when you do that sort of thing don't do it while it's attached to the battery because um, as many of the more experienced 
uh, vapors out there when you put liquid in there and if you overfill it just a little bit when you put this cap on you're going to have juice spew out the other end so you want to fill these um, over paper towels or towels or something and then once you get everything cleaned up then attach it to the battery real simple so this also has a lockout if you notice when I press the button it's not doing anything that's because you have to press it three times to unlock it. And then if you want to lock it, you press it three times again. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three. And <laughs> it makes me a liar. There we go. One, two, three. And you can see that it, it blinked three times so it'll let you know that it's working. And then we can go ahead and vape. And you see how that lights? That means it's heating up that coil inside the cartomizer. Now let's take a look at the end here. You can see it light up. I have so much, I have such bright lighting <laughs> when I videotape. It's very hard to see, but I'll let you uh, see that. You can see how it's lighting up. Let's get it real dark in there. There we go. So you'll look pretty cool with this. Now in this kit, they, they give you the cone, the five cartomizers, the battery, and another battery. No you should never get a kit with just one battery. I think that's ridiculous, especially if it doesn't have a pass-through because you use up your battery and then you don't have any way of smoking any delicious e-liquid until that battery's charged up. You have a lot of options here. You have a second battery and both of them are pass-through. It's uh, really good. Now, when I bought my kit, I did buy some other things. Uh, of course, you need to buy juice. So I went ahead and bought like six different juices because I want to try them all out. And some of my favorite is the JC Original, Johnson Creek Original. And this one here is the Red Oak Line, which just uses only um, VG, not PG. And this is Vanda. If you notice, I don't use nicotine. I'm not a, I don't, for some reason, I don't get addicted to nicotine. So I, I go nicotine free. Now, one of the things that stand out about Johnza Creek when you buy their um, larger bottles here is their glass. They have a childproof cap. They have this plastic over it, tamper-proof plastic over it, and it's smoked. It's dark. By the way, this is 15 milliliter. Um, this is freaking awesome. You know, actually, this is the smaller bottle. <laughs> so the bigger bottle, I think it's a 30 milliliter. They're also glass. So even their smaller bottles of glass. You know, some juice makers, I'm going to go ahead and reach over here. I, I'm not going to show any names, but you usually get like plastic bottles that are clear. Um, the, this, this is what I really like about Jonta Creek. Also, this juice is made in a lab and using the the best u.s ingredients and i'm going to put a link below to their um to the youtube channel and you can watch videos of their lab and everything they go through to ensure um everybody's safety consistency and, and the awesome taste now this bottle also came with a dropper here's one that i've already opened up and attached the dropper so you get a nice um and and this dropper is also child proof but you get a, uh, a nice dropper and it makes it very easy to fill the cartomizer without having to buy anything else. You got everything you need when you buy your liquid to refill your cartomizers. Now, how much are the cartomizers? Five or ten. For five, it's ten dollars. So, um, it, you know, it's, it's a little bit, you know, maybe a dollar more than some others, but you're, but these are really good. The polyfill in them. Um, the way they're made, they're probably the best cartomizers I've come across. So I'm very impressed. So anyway, my uh, my other favorite is Vanda. This is a vanilla. So if you like vanilla, at first I didn't like it like a, a lot, but then it grew on me, and, and now it's uh, one of my favorite. Like I said, these these two right here are probably my favorite Johns Creek at this point, with the ones that I tried, and I've tried about um, I think around six or seven different ones. So I got a long way to go to try others. I bought an extra cone. You could you could buy all kinds of accessories. So I went ahead and um, this this way, if my wife wants to try one, I could put this cone on there, and she could look as cool as me, smoking <laughs> or vaping. Now there's some other things. Now let's say you 
have blue cartridges left over. So here's some blue cartridges. This is a standard 510 thread. You could throw that on there just like that. And then you could put your um, cone on there just so it looks good. I mean, you could smoke it just like that without the cone, but you could go ahead and throw your cone on there and you could even use your blue cartridges with no problem. Now, now I'm going to go into the cons of this. There's a couple of, there's one or two things I don't like about this kit. Number one, it has this plastic thing instead of your standard threads. Again, here's your standard Ego type battery, and you can see there's threads here on the Johnson Creek product. They, they got rid of the threads and put this uh, plasticky, rubbery material on there, so you don't have to screw the cone on, which is nice. You could pop it on, but you lose those threads. So, what really bites <laughs> is that here's one of my favorite tanks, the Kanger uh, Mini Pro. Um, this is Ego Threads. I, I can't use it on here. That's a, that's a bummer. <laughs> I can't use it on there, and it would would have looked really good if it all came together. I love this color that Johnson Creek uses. However, comma, with bad news comes good news. I, um, w while watching some of the videos that Johnson Creek has, they had stated that one of the things they have in the works is a tank. I think it's for this and, and not a separate product. I'm not sure. But if they come out with a tank for this somehow, like maybe they'll have a short skirt that you put on here and then have a, uh, a tank that would fit well, I guess, um, well, this one's bigger. This, this is my, uh. Pro 2 Kanger, which is another one of my favorite. It's 510. By the way, you could put any 510 on here. Yeah, so this works fine. But it looks kind of uh, awkward. But, um, you know, if they made something smaller, like the Mini, and had some sort of skirt that could be put on before it so it has a nice smooth transition, I uh, man, this, this would be my, my favorite mechanical mod. By the way, this is considered a mechanical mod for those of you who are new to this, which means when you um, take a drag out of your e-cig, you press the button, you drag, and then you let it go. So there's uh, my review and my, my one major dislike of this. So let's go ahead and try it out. Now I'd like to demonstrate this electronic cigarette. This cartomizer I have filled up with Tennessee Cured. This is probably my third favorite. Sometimes it actually slips up to my second favorite. I sort of go back and forth, um, but this is a, a very good um, cigarette tasting alternative um, for me. So let's go ahead and try this out. Now, when you smoke a, an electronic cigarette, you can't smoke it the same as a regular cigarette where you just suck fast and blow. You have to slow down with an electronic cigarette. First of all, when you press the button, that heating element that's inside the cartomizer doesn't get fully hot in a split second. The technology is not really there in these or any cigarette yet. Electronic cigarette. Um, so the heating coil has to you know, come up to full temperature, just like your toaster and the, and the metal coils in there. Same principle. So we'll press the button, maybe wait a second, and then begin a slow draw in, like this. Oh, I, I really, I really like this might have just became my second favorite right now. So, um, let's see, I, I don't know if you saw the, the light. It's kind of hard because I have maybe over, easily over a thousand watts of light that's glaring me in the face. Because I, I try to do good with the, the lighting and everything here. So anyway, you know, just to go over the, the pros here, you're, you're getting a um, mechanical mod for those of you who are the experienced smokers. But taken up to the next level as far as um, quality, fit, and finish. It really isn't your typical mod 
that just gets a stamp of whoever you're buying it for, but they're all came from the same Chinese factory and they really didn't do anything to to make it look really nice. Um, here at Johnson Creek, they, they give you that nice red, slightly rubbery kind of texture, but it's pretty tough. Um, I don't know if it's rubber. It just has a slight grippy kind of texture to it. And again, that, that metal band around here where that button is, is raised up to the level of everything else. So it's just a nice, smooth, beautiful fit finish kind of e-cig. Pass through, cute little V light on the end. And for $60, it's right there in the range, if not just a teeny bit less than your typical two battery setups. It, it I think it's a very good buy. I'm not a, a Uber um, pro at this. You know, I've only been into this for a couple of weeks, but like with all of my other things that I get into, which become obsessions, I've been eating, sleeping, reading about these things four weeks before even getting to this video and i've also tried many other cigarette electronic cigarette products which i will do reviews in the future so how do i rate the johnson creek rechargeable electronic cigarette starter kit i'm going to give it a nine out of ten and the reason why it loses just the one point is because they uh, I would have liked it if the cone screwed on and they had the ego thread so I would have had the maximum flexibility to use my other toys <laughs> my other tanks and things like that however um, let's see what Johnson Creek does I hear they're coming out with a tank and hopefully I can put it on here and hopefully it's as good as my Kanger Protec Mini or, or something like that I, I would like to see if if hey if y'all at Johnson Creek are, are watching this please make it with Pyrex glass not plastic um, so uh, look at the Kangers that's all I want to say make a good solid tank like the uh, Kanger Pro Mini or the uh, they got second generation out there so I, I at least I will pay the extra money for it um, <laughs> just Look at those. I mean, I've dropped a Kanger Pro from the Kanger Pro Mini Tank. I dropped that thing from about six feet. I was jumping off a safe. Yes, old fat me was jumping down off of a, a safe that was probably about four feet. And then you figure how tall I am. And the thing came out of my pocket and it bounced off the floor and didn't break. It impressed the crap out of me. So, um... By the way, I'm not getting paid for this. I refuse to um, get paid. If you go to some other um, e-cigarette companies, you will see people doing reviews, and then you go to their website, and they're doing tutorials for that company. So you know there's a little bit of a tie there. I I buy my, my own things. I spent an awful lot of money over the last two weeks. My wife is going to kill me. Um just so I can try out the different products and compare. Now, next Friday, I'll have another starter kit, and we'll go ahead and do a review, and then we'll do sort of a little bit of a comparison with the Jotsa Creek. I think that'll be fun. So before we go, I'm just going to go ahead and take one more drag off this awesome cigarette, which I rated, what, 9 out of 10, and um, just enjoy the good life, right? This is, you only live once, and there are a lot of things that are, why do it? You know, why drink? Why smoke? Whatever. Because we like to. If it makes us feel good, we live once. It can't all be work. So, enjoy life. Mmm. That is so good. I'm blowing this out fast. You'll also notice, like, a lot of um, e-cig reviews people will try to get they'll do comparisons and they'll try to what make one vape more than the other i could take the same e-cig and go look how crappy this one is you know and then i could take the same one and uh, and make it seem better you know, so it, it's hard to compare different e-juices, 
cardamizers as they get older don't vape as good. They're, they're, and same thing with tanks and the atomizers in it. So there's so many variables. You really can't go by the video. Plus, a lot of the reviewers will blow smoke right in your face. I won't do that. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make it my thing not to blow vapor or smoke or whatever you want to call it in your face in the video <laughs> i will blow it aside and you could get a different perspective than everybody else there are some really good reviews out there i don't be the slam anybody um that's how i learned probably learned learned probably 75 percent of what i know is by watching some of these other channels and i subscribe to a lot of them and there's some really good reviewers out there so anyway check out the link johnson creek below on that youtube channel go ahead and subscribe if you can tell them fred sent you because they don't even know that i'm doing this just say fred sent me and subscribe to their channel and uh, you know check out their videos they got great tutorials they they show you around their factory you you see the president you see the ceo and they talk you know they talk about what they're doing and it, it looks like it's a great company the the person who started this up is an ex apple employee so uh, i didn't wear my android shirt i don't want <laughs> i don't care but just having fun. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every Fred viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great evening and a great weekend. Take care. Bye.